All right, we're out in front of the water treatment plant on Bud. Um, looks like we've had a few people venturing out here. Um, all their tracks are pretty wet. And it looks like we got a crack coming across out here. You can see the wet snow. Uh, we're like 15 foot off the shore. I don't know if you can hear that or not, <laughs> but that was kind of spooky. <laughs> the whole ice has dropped like an inch. Yeah. It's not very thick out here. Um, I'll walk out just a little bit. <laughs> don't get too close. <laughs> So uh, that was like one and a quarter hits, and the spud bar went through. Um, hopefully everything, everyone made it out all right out here with the tracks. But there's a lot of pressure on this ice with how much snow we got last night. If you're coming out this weekend, I can't say it enough. Wear a float suit, have a spud bar. If you're fishing in a spot and it turns all slush, be aware of your surroundings, keep checking everything, making sure you're not going to end up sinking the ice and then it'll break on you. I mean, if I if I hit it pretty, pretty hard, it'll probably just go through in one hit, but it's, it's not quite ready for a lot of pressure. Yeah, <laughs> that's one hit and that wasn't even really that, that hard to be honest. Um, We'll run up to Sisseton quick, see what that looks like. We'll see you guys in a little bit. So we're up here on Sisseton. Uh, the ice condition is a lot better than Bud, for sure. Um, we're probably, I don't know, 150, 200 yards off of shore from the boat launch on the east side. Um, once again, the lake is covered in snow. There's probably five six inches snow at least I might be being a little generous <laughs> um, we got a whole spot over here we just I just put the spud through the ice and turned the camera on and I already got water there's a lot of snow pressure on the ice So from right here, I hooked the bottom of my spud on there, sorry I don't have a tape measure with me right now, but I hooked the bottom of my spud on the ice, held my finger, so we probably got four inches, maybe, four and a half, give or take, but it's, the pressure is unbelievable. Um, if there's a bunch of anglers that are going to come out and try and fish, I can't stress enough once again to be safe. Be aware of what the ice is doing while you're on it. I'm sure everybody knows what I'm talking about when I say the pressure on the ice. So, like me standing on the ice, that's what I'm going to call there's a lot of pressure, a lot of weight on the ice. So, you got to have so many inches of ice to be able to stand on it and not fall through. So when we get a lake that's completely covered in wet, heavy snow that we got last night, and there's five, six inches of snow. I don't know how much weight that is added to the ice, but every time you drill a hole, that's gonna relieve a little pressure and push water on top of the ice because the snow is pushing the ice down. Like just standing here, you can see how far out the water's gone just from a little spud hole. Just be careful guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, message us on Facebook, whatever you like. We'll talk to you guys, answer any questions you have. Um, give us a thumbs up. 
subscribe if you guys want to. We might try and come out tomorrow. Lucas might be able to head up. I'm not for sure yet or not. Um, do some ice reports, maybe a little bit of fishing, depending on the ice condition tomorrow. Um, I'll talk with him and see if he's going to make it up or not. But tight lines, everybody. Hopefully soon we'll have real good ice so that we can start ripping some lips. I'll uh, talk to you guys on the next one. Hey guys, Aaron and LGS Outdoors here. Um, we're up in Fairmont on Hall Lake, right in front of the Channel Inn behind me. I got a little bit of light back there. Hopefully you guys can see me. Um, sorry, it's a little late and dark out, but finally made it up to the lake to check out all this snow we got. There's quite a bit on the ice. So we spud the hole here just a couple seconds ago and you can see how much pressure is on there because all the snow around it is pretty well wet and turned into slush already. A lot of pressure. <clears throat> we didn't lose any ice. There you go. We gained a little bit since the last time we were here. Lucas was out here and did an ice report a couple days ago. Out in front of the channel in, I'd say we're at about six inches right now, which, thank the Lord, Hopefully it holds. Maybe the weather will get a little bit warm and melt some of the snow away, hopefully for pressure wise. But uh, we might go see if we can get on a couple of the other lakes. I know right here is the best ice in Fairmont as of right now. But uh, another thing to watch, the top like inch and a half of the ice isn't that great it's pretty broke apart it just kind of chisels in chunks it takes one good solid hit to actually get to the good ice so you just want to remember that back of your head make sure you got spud bars if you're going out this weekend um, I would say in front of the channel in if you're gonna fish is probably the safest um, Bud Lake is the least safest there might be some ice out there that we can get on I'm not for sure we'll go over and check a couple spots hopefully I got enough light over there so that you guys can see me and we can give a little report of what's on Bud maybe make it to Sisseton before it's completely dark out 